Okay, I'd say we've got some fish in the water here. We're setting up a drift. And again, we're trying to trying to jig underneath all the bluefish. How's the fish finder look? Alright, let's go take a peek at the fish finder. Alright, now we're starting to see clouds of uh, bait and fish down about 24 to 36 feet. So it will drift down over the wall. The mic's on. What do you got, Mike? Right, we just jigged up a bass. Is it recording now? Yeah, it should be. And what I wanted to show you is the fish has got a sea lamprey on it. And if you can, if you see that, can you get it? Yeah. That thing is sucking right on the uh, pectoral fins of the uh, fish. Should we try and to get them off? Before we let it go, I'll I'll take that off. I'll take, take a look at it. Out of them. But, uh, look Never at seen one here. Yep. Yeah. Look at that thing. So let's take it off. And we're gonna put it on for bluefish bait. Take that sucker right off. There we go. Now I'm gonna let this guy go. Let's see what it did. It was just stuck right on his fin. Let him go. He was nice and healthy. He is the. Let's take a look at this thing if I can. Mike. He says, uh, now that holds it good. Okay, now you can see that. He's got it closed a little bit. But uh, don't get too close. Now I'm going to let him go. But uh, You want to throw him on the hook and let the bluefish eat him? If you want. Let me to. put him on my jig. Yeah, okay. Okay, now we've taken the sea lamprey off. Now we've got it baited on. We're going to use that and see how the bluefish like it. <laughs> My feeling is it's going to have a uh, respectful death. <laughs> okay, Jeff. Okay, one cast into the bluefish, and our sea lamprey, which preys on fish, has become food for the bluefish. So it's a fitting and to uh, a rather pesky little crisp critter. So maybe we'll get another one. See if you get another one, Jeff.